My name is Dan Liebel. I'm a senior consultant at Stone Ridge Software covering the introduction to Management Reporter. This, is, this session is about columns part one. All right, let's go in and take a look at some columns. Uh, we'll switch over to our column definitions and let's open up this periodic year to date with uh, CBR. First thing you want to notice are there's three rows of headers and then there are a number of other options for how you want to define your columns. So let's start with the header information. Um, with the three rows, this is where you define your column names and, and what is and what the name is or the label is for those specific columns. So maybe with the description, it's self-explanatory. You don't need a description header name. But with your um, fiscal data or your data with uh, uh, that you're going to define the labels that you want to, to show for percentages and periods or year to date or last year or budget information you can define those labels in this header and header in these three header rows so by do double clicking on one cell you can build your column headings based on this so you can leave it all in one row like we have an example here which is on header two but you can also have like you could add, define a fiscal year on he header one the month on header two and maybe just a line or just a blank space and header three to leave some space in between the heading or the column heading and the data that's coming there otherwise they're going to be right next to each other and may be difficult to read so keep that in mind and, and again it may take some playing around to um, to figure out what's right but in order to define your column headings you can utilize this insert auto text um, with month names period names or numbers or descriptions uh, fiscal year, calendar year, um, many of the rest of these are not utilized very often, but you, you can. Um, um, you can also enter in your own column header text, so maybe you don't like what's there or the way it displays with the auto, insert auto text. So you define your own header text. Keep in mind that you want to keep it flexible so that you don't have to go in and edit columns every month. You don't. Sometimes you don't have a choice, but um, depending on what type of information you're pulling, but generally if you keep it as a month, um, it's going to look at your report date and then it'll do your reporting month as what it's going to define. Also, um, you can um, use a utilize underlines, so you can underline with uh, a solid line, the dots or dashes or a thick underline. You can even use a box if you wanted to. Um, you can justify it to left, right, or center. Um, in certain cases, you may want to also spread it from a column to, uh, for multiple columns. So maybe you need it to cover two columns. So then you would say spread from B to C, for example, and then you would have one heading that covers two columns. So those are your options with, with the column headings. So again, like I say, it's best to play around with it and keep it flexible so that you don't have to go in and edit each time. To create a new column, you would select New. And as a minimum, you need to have a description and an FD column, so we'll do that. And we'll cover these here shortly, or in the next session. There's our description and FD. And then to save, you can click File, Save, or Save As, or you can also use the, the Save icon. Uh, can't, keeps hiding. Uh, use the Save icon, but we'll go File, Save, and it brings up a Save As window. And then as a name, um, you give it a name, and it can. I would recommend giving it a, a very descriptive name so that you know what columns you have in there. So, for example, the periodic year-to-date with CBR is what we had on our first one that we were looking at. So um, that kind of tells you what you have available on that. And then in the description field, it's just a longer um, description. If you care to use it, it can be blank. So let's close that down, and then we'll next we'll uh, discuss our um, the column types and the fields below that.